We're ready to go green for the round of 12 elimination race at the Charlotte Roval here. 39 laps of racing. Stage 1 ends at the end of lap 8. Stage 2, the end of lap 16. The race at the end of lap 39. Stage cautions return for the first time at a road course this year. The four drivers out realistically all need to win their way in to the round of 8 here today. And none other than Denny Hamlin, bottom of the playoff grid, leads the way down into turn 1 from pole position. Jay Hamlin's had a record this year of qualifying great on the road courses, but we know he's not been able to hold it up in the race. McDowell on the outside there got a really good launch into turn one. Not able to carry the momentum out of the exit of turn one, though. But through turn two and into turn three, McDowell now on the inside has the advantage over Hamlin. Not quite to the lead just yet. Now Hamlin on the outside gets a good run as the exit turn four. Go down the straightaway head up the hill. And it's still side by side for the lead, Gary. We have a double right-hander here. Then we, of course, head to the left. That leads back on to the oval portion of this racetrack. Still side by side for the lead here. you got to be very careful. There's this concrete wall that can come at anybody very quickly. Looks like everybody up in the front half is okay through there. But Jay McDowell and Byron as well in row two doing a great job holding on on the outside. Yeah, it's side by side for the first two rows so far. And really, that's allowed the second row to get a little bit of separation to the first row. But now Hamlin gets clear. McDowell with a really good launch out of the exit onto the oval through one and two. Now down to the backstretch chicane. Truex tried to send it in on Byron, but Byron kept right with him. They're still side by side for third, Gary. And we have side by side all over this circuit here. Now uh, on the exit of the bus stop can create chaos. Now, of course, uh, road oh, courses. I I just saw somebody going to the barrier, maybe? Nope. They were. Oh, oh. Line. Ty Dillon, we're okay though, we continue on. Ty Dillon literally at the back of the pack having an issue there. So the uh, cautions can be a bit sensitive at road courses. Sometimes you'll definitely see cautions come out for something that shouldn't be a caution, but it really just is what it is. Again, Brad Kozlowski, the last driver in right now, uh, comes in 20 points above McDowell. Oh. And Elliott in the background as well has gone crashing oh. early on. Chastain, who's already locked in, gets involved. And they're all going to get it sorted out pretty well, actually. Elliott gets some damage. Well, the caution be out for that one. I would have to imagine so. Let's see. No, no caution. We continue on here. But, Jay, that was already a playoff contender. Chase Elliott, 27 above the cut line, having that issue right there. He's not coming in. But Bowman oh, in the 48 to... is. Yeah, boom. Oh, Chase Elliott again. Three wide through the final chicane over the curbs. Tied Dylan into the wall. Chase Elliott into the 16 spin. The seven spins behind him. They all go through the grass. They all go over the curbs. And they had to think the yellow is out. The yellow is out. First caution of the day on lap number three. Gary, we started off calm. First lap and a half, pretty much nothing happened. As soon as that sentence left my mouth, Bowman hit the wall and everything broke out from there. We saw what happened to the 34, but watch the 9 all on his own. Everyone's kind of reacting to the spin. The 9 locks it up. Chastain, Bubba Wallace, big hits there. That one car got hit on both ends of the car and somehow comes out of that relatively unscathed. They go three wide into the chicane, and then they collect the 54 contact there, and they go around again. We have an interesting strategy here. Hamlin, Briscoe, Larson, and others stay out, but we as well see several cars coming into the pit lane including Chase Elliott who was the main culprit of two different accidents and one uh, whole caution sequence there so interesting strategy calls that's going to give up some points for some Hamlin Briscoe the front row we're back rolling Jay Hamlin's doing everything he needs to do right now and we saw the two Whoa. guys that are first below the cut line Logano and Harvick stay out in an attempt to get stage points here yeah, Hamlin able to get through turn one that time much better than he did on the original start of the race. Briscoe to his outside still hangs on for a moment, but Hamlin might get clear on the exit of turn two if he can carry the momentum. Wide. Three, sorry, they're still side by side. He goes a little bit wide. Now Briscoe fights back to the inside, side by side for the first three or four rows. And Hamlin, Gary, really not able to take advantage of being in a good position on these restarts. Both times so far, the car to the inside has felt, uh, fought him really hard. And he might get clear right here, however. Let's see. Side by side still with the 14. Just like that original start, Hamlin can't quite get clear immediately. Now in the background, I just saw some potential issues for the three of Austin Dillon. He went wide, lost some track position. Suarez is going to try and follow him through as well, Gary. Look at the lead Hamlin has. Now Hamlin is out to a really uh, nice margin as it comes to one lap to go on stage number one. And Suarez. Suarez is going to slow down and go to the pit lane. Multiple drivers are coming into the pits. What is this? Oh my goodness, this is an interesting one. We have not seen anything like that. Yeah, he is. We have never seen anything like this before. So Hamlin, he's going to win stage number one at the Charlotte Road Course. Kyle Larson will come P2, so a bunch of points there. Really, just that, that stage alone will just about solidify Larson's spot into the next round unless something goes catastrophically wrong. Interestingly, oh Jay, Suarez. Oh, well, hold on. Suarez pits when he pitted with the same group but Logano, Kozlowski and the others like Kyle Busch as well stay out and no matter where Denny Hamlin comes out Jay this is surely going to make for an interesting start to the second stage. 
Daniel Suarez, he pitted because he's got an issue. That's why we saw him come in for a second time there. But we're back underway for stage number two in the background. They really like to get spread out on these double file restarts here. Down into turn one, though. That 17 goes around the outside of the 48, but he is going to try and fight back on the inside. Lowley in the background actually catches the barrier, but Jay, we've got such a different looking field up front now. This could really create problems for some of these playoff guys. Bowman Whoa. way wide. Bowman went way wide there, and it actually might have been an advantage. He gets a good run out of turn number four, and 17 of Bush had to also, I think, catch a slide a little bit there for a moment. And Bowman, who we saw slap the wall, go to the pit lane, grabs the lead of this race, Gary. But I think these guys here, the first five or six cars in line here, uh, they're probably going to wind up pitting after a couple of laps. So, interesting to watch, but they shouldn't play much of a factor into the race. Now, it'd be interesting to watch how the strategy plays out towards the end of the race, though. Oh, my oh, goodness! There. That's a big hit for Larson and for Cedric, two playoff drivers. That's going to be a yellow. Elliot gets a piece of it again. Elliot involved in this. Byron's around on the oval. And oval one, Truex catches a piece of it, but somehow, uh, I think he's the only one that made contact. That, they're going to be racing it back to the line here. Look at this absolute wasp nest right here. Josevar coming back up the track there alongside Chase Elliott, they'll get it sorted. Here's a look. Watch the 45. Have a bit of a moment there. He goes sideways. They're three wide. You don't want to be three wide right there. The two gets into it, and the five hits the wall pretty good. Now, keep an eye on the 24 of William Byron. Larson, Larson bounces off the wall, turns the 24 around. More cars are going to get involved. You see them coming through, and really got most of them got through unscathed. But I think we just saw a collision there. There well. is. We the did. caution's out. This is not supposed to be each happening. Other a lot. Yeah, the disabled collisions is turned on, but yet we are seeing collisions under caution. Hamlin's got damage. The Priest has, has damage. Has yes, damage. Bell is pretty destroyed, actually, on the front end of the car. So this mod just not doing its job here suddenly. We're ready to roll again here now as stage two. Same situation. Three lap dash. Once we go back green. Bowman pitted and still is in the pit lane. Others pitted as well. Denny Hamlin, Kyle Larson. All the guys you saw and kind of get some damage there. Uh, Bell out of the race. So Jay, lots of guys were damaged. And unfortunately for Hamlin, uh, not a good situation for that 11 team that finds himself now way down the order. Yeah, some, some things certainly shaking up the order in this race. And playoff drivers to this point, Gary, it, it's been a theme of the entire playoff so far. They just continue to have issues. And we were talking about Kozlowski. He was one that was possibly in trouble. And now Hamlin is outside the top 10. Kozlowski is fighting for a spot inside the top five. So things have suddenly flipped on its head. And Hamlin, uh, at this point, Gary, is probably going to have to be thinking win. He had, the, he had the chance to win stage one and stage two, be in the points battle. Now at this point, you have to go for a win. It's quite simply not going to happen. So if he can't do it on Kozlowski, oh my god. Oh, the three of Austin Dillon over on the right side of the frame was up in the air. The caution, I'm sure, is that that's going to basically mean this will be the last lap of stage two. It appears we got some beef. Dillon and Almarola come together right here. Watch them. The three goes into the barrier, and then that. Oh, my goodness. The caution flies in Charlotte. We've seen chaos in stage one, seen chaos in stage two. Jay, will that carry over into the third and final stage where usually the intensity picks up the most? Oh, I think we're certainly going to see the chaos continue, especially with playoff hopes on the line here to make it into the round of eight and fight for a championship. Gary McDowell leads Busher side by side of the turn number one. The outside gets a good run. Once again, Busher fighting hard on the outside of, of McDowell, but McDowell keeps the position to this point. And the second row is still side by side as well. Bubba Wallace with all that damage. Logano with all that damage as well. Doing really nice jobs right now to salvage their race and be on the second row. We have been following the points, and we're going to try and update it the best we can. So Logano is out by 19 going into the stage against Kozlowski. Uh, actually, Sindrick, the last car 18. in now, 18 points above the cut line. So he's no longer focused on the six. He's focused on his teammate. Uh, Elliott is only good by about 20 points. Same for Martin Truex Jr. is about 18 points as well. Uh, so Jay, Kozlowski has gotten ahead of both the 19 and the two car in the standing so that takes slight pressure off of him and he's outrunning both of them so right now that six car in a pretty good position and the 19 and the two have the most pressure although they still have a comfortable buffer yeah truex right now as well luckily his car is is completely together you see cars around him with no front bumper on the he's going for a move on priest and might even get blaney in the same corner as well a really good move right there for martin truex he almost got the inside wall yeah. right there but Hamlin still obviously has a fast car. Gary, he just passed uh, Justin Haley. A couple cars coming to the pit lane back there. Four cars coming to the pit Larson. lane. Larson also going into the pit lane as well. This is possibly big for the five. Gary, of course, he's in a comfortable position, but if things go horribly Caution. wrong for him, he could find himself out. Yep, a yellow again. It appears to be the one. I think it's the one that Chastain had an issue. I think it's uh, it kind of the, just from the Somebody's location. The there, I think. Um, 
Yep, that is a car on the grass. That's the 31 of Justin Haley. The chaos continues. And Charlotte Larson is in the pits. Elliott as well, by the way. Watch the 42 and the 31 right here. 31 kind of cuts across the 42's nose. He doesn't lift. He hooks him. Sends him flying. It threw the grass. Chastain just... I, he was just wrecking by himself there. More strategy being played. The 38 stays out. Everybody's going to pit behind him, basically. Uh, and in front of him. And you cannot make it yet from here. Uh, a field run of being about 15 laps. Byron stays out. We saw Larson, Elliott, and them. Uh, Box and, and sure enough, Jay, Kyle Larson. Uh, he's going to stay out. The other guys actually come in again. But Kyle Larson went from an awkward spot to benefiting quite tremendously. Well, we have more drama. You see there's not a lot of cars here. We have a whole group of cars, including playoff drivers, Bush, Elliott, Logano, uh, as well as Kozlowski, stopped right now in the pit lane going a lap down. Why? I have absolutely no idea. Byron leads the way into turn one. McDowell there just behind Larson who slips through. And Jay, this is completely uh, screwing things completely up in this race. And we have absolutely no idea what's going on at this point here. We're still just under 20 laps to go. Aaron, there they go. They're rolling now, Jay. So they're still going to give up one lap. So obviously now they're racing each other for positions. Yeah. And, and and now comes in Gilliland in the What's background. Kind of penalty? Yeah, that's, I would assume yeah, so. Some kind of oh! Because, oh, Larson missed the chicane big time. That's a huge miss from the five of Larson. He's going to lose a bunch of spots out of it. Doesn't have to take the stop and go like they're doing in real life, but still, he goes uh, all the way down. Is there an maybe issue? Maybe just outside the top ten. He's going to stop, too. Yeah, the five car may have something going wrong. Oh, my God! Oh, oh goodness! Oh, Jack Stain! They save it. They continue. Larson, does he have an what issue? Is we don't know. This race is full-blown chaos. Larson's out of the way. There's got to be an issue there, Jay. It looks mechanical. Yeah, Larson's slow big time. He's holding up the 41 and the 31 who just came out of the pit lane. They're two laps down. Larson's still just trying to get back around the pit lane. You can see that five car has something massively going wrong with it. But uh, Logano and Bush, Gary, they have their issues. They're one of those that are two laps down, so you can really cross them off. But for uh, for Hamlin and Harvick, they're in a good position to take advantage of Kozlowski. Truex, Elliott, Larson, all having their issues, all being multiple laps down. I think Truex actually may not be a lap down. I might have counted his name in there wrong. However, the other three definitely are two laps down currently. Uh, Truex is on the lead lap in 16th right now. We only have 19 cars on the lead lap. A whole bunch of confusion uh, as Byron is way ahead right now. Uh, Cindric and Truex mainly being 18 points above the cut line at 2,081 points. Scratch out Logano, as Jay said, uh, of course, and Kyle Busch is there now lap down, and they're not going to get those back. So Harvick and Hamlin are the two we are watching. Harvick with 2,058. Yeah, Hamlin, uh, so, well, Hamlin's got 2,050 points to start the stage, right? So, oh, that's 32. I counted that. Yeah, one. He's, points, he still points. has to win. He's going to have to win this race still. Uh, Harvick would need 23 points to tie Cindric or Truex. And, Jay, we look at him right now. He runs third. Cindric runs 10th. So, currently scratch him off, and Truex runs 16th. So, he's going to need one of them to have a pretty obvious issue right now as they run. Yeah, I don't know what the situation is for Lawrence but Elliot. or Elliot either. El Elliot is only 20 points above. Actually, I think I think right now he's in maybe over Elliot. Or at least Elliot is 30th. Elliot. That's the big one to watch for right now. Elliot is 30th. Harvick is uh, third. So that puts 27 points between them, and Elliot's only in by 20. So right now I believe Elliot is out by seven. My goodness. So Elliot would be out as it runs right now he is one of the drivers two laps down he can only get up to 25th currently uh and that would right now as they run still not be enough but then again uh let's look at kozlowski kozlowski runs in 24th so jay uh he came into this uh 19 points above the cut line so him and harvick would be just a few points separated i just saw some stuff there on the track uh and then the other one would be, I guess, uh, Kyle Larson, who is, I believe, out of the race at this point. Uh, we were waiting for it. No, he's. I think he's still racing, actually. Sh he shows him one lap down right now, but I don't see him currently. There he is. So he's still trying to race, Jay. But right now, he has such an advantage. And with the other drivers, including the teammate of Chase Elliott, uh, having issues, he should still be okay. Chastain is a driver we've seen have several issues recently. He is all over the bumper of Cindric. Obviously not for position. Chastain, I believe, was one of those drivers on the pit lane. I think. Maybe I'm wrong about that. No, not for position. I don't know anymore. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't know either. It's hard. It's so hard to keep up. But either way, Cedric does not want to get passed by him because that'll put him into the reaches, possibly of the 16 of Almendinger. Is he on the lead lap? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see if he gets passed. I really don't know what's happening at this point. Uh, Almendinger is. Interesting thing to watch out for, for sure, is Chase Elliott and Kozlowski. I think Elliott can make up those spots potentially on Kozlowski. Not sure he's going to get there on Harvick. It was an ugly start for McDowell. Uh, but he's kept himself actually somehow look at that car. It's one of the best looking cars out there right now uh, He is in the mix of course to fight for the win not for any kind of playoff Situation we'll give it a few more laps let things play out uh, before we really dive back into any idea of what the point situation Could be here uh, and as well. Oh, oh Contact oh, right in front of the five and they're they're gonna save it chase Elliott by the way Jay has gotten past the 41 so he's gained a point there. For, for Harvick at that point, because then he'll obviously be in contention to win the race as McDowell goes to the pit lane. McDowell pits. Harvick takes the lead. Busher uh, will go through into second. Hamlin third. Bubba Wallace having a, a great day as well. So there's the gap. McDowell is in front of Byron. We were wondering what it would be. Byron was ahead of McDowell when he pitted, but McDowell is ahead when he comes out. So it's McDowell potentially in position to win this race, Chase Elliott has to either find a way to gain positions or have uh, some trouble for Kevin Harvick. As you can see, that 23 going a bit wide there. But that, that's the thing, Jay. If Harvick has issues, uh, that just leads to nobody uh, getting eliminated that came into this race above the cut line. Yeah, Harvick, I think right now has got a uh, maybe four or five point gap. Might Somewhere in that, that area. Much. Here's Larson. Jay, he's gotten past the 9 of Elliott, not for actual position, oh. but he is continuing to just move forward. And that might have given Elliott a run on the 54 of Ty Gibbs. I believe Ty Gibbs is a, is a uh, position right now for Chase yes. Elliott, but again, not enough on Kozlowski. Oh, here we go. Here oh, we go. We a big group of cars into the pit lane. The 23 is in. Harvick is in. So Harvick finally pits. It's going to be interesting to see how long he stays in the pit lane there. He's in his box. I believe still in his box. He's getting tires. So Harvick not going for a splash of fuel. He's getting at least two tires, maybe even four. He's staying for quite a while. They're right there. Tires. And the 34 and the 24 are going to be long gone to the four. The question is, what's going on with the 19 as well? He's just sitting there. That's another potential issue we'll have to keep an eye on. Oh my goodness, it never ends. McDowell and Byron. Hey, Hamlin, I don't even think it's going to yeah, pass Truex Harvick. Is, is stopped. Yeah, true. That's another uh, outlet or whatever the heck you want to call it at this point. We're going to have to take a look at Harvick still P3. Obviously too far back to fight for the win. Jay, all these guys are too far back. There's Hamlin. He's really lost some ground, obviously. So now... Uh, they, at least the battle for the win is decided. It's going to be between McDowell and Byron, who's all over the back uh, of his back bumper. Chase Elliott fans might be saved here, Gary, because there was only a two-point separation between Truex and Hamlin, and if Truex falls behind two laps down to Chase Elliott's lap, well, we could see Chase Elliott get past oh, dear him. God. So there, there's still hope, I believe, for the nine fans, and more things for us to just figure out here. He's one lap down right now for sure. Blaney as well is sitting He's here that's sitting. Oh, not a big concern my, another playoff driver what is going on here in this race elliot's pitting though this is expected I he had to make a schedule. pit stop yeah this is should be uh quite expected blaney Blaney's still sitting yes yeah. blaney and truex are both still in the pit lane let's make sure that ha that uh, elliot does not sit in the pit lane as here comes the 34 and the 24 i think this will put the 19 two laps down blaney should go one lap down i think we still have definite time for chaos here. The nine car is now. There he there goes. There he there goes. He, now he's leaving. So is he on the same lap as the 19 or is he going to be on the same lap right at the end of this race? This is going to be really interesting. The 12, Logano's coming in. He's, of course, out of the picture now for advancing. So it is pure confusion. Jay, I no, say we just wait for the end picture. maybe to before we even try to dissect this one. Um, Truex is continuing to fall down the order. And we look at the gap. Jay mentioned it. He was two points ahead of uh, Truex uh, going into this Chase final Elliott stage. Sorry, ahead. Chase Elliott was two, Truex points, is two ahead. points ahead of Chase Elliott. Truex, no, Truex is two points behind Elliott. I thought he was two points ahead. No, uh, Elliott had 2083, okay, right, Truex right, 2081. Right, right. So Elliott needs to be within two points to tie. Two positions. Jay, he continues to fall down the order. He's down to 27th. Elliot, 28th. Elliot's going to pass him this lap, I believe. I believe they're on the same lap, and Elliot should pass him whenever he gets by him. So, Truex, I think, at this point, is out. Blaney's still in the pit Truex lane. Truex is on track. Oh, yeah, Truex, you're right. You're right. Truex is on track. Now, hold on a minute. Where? Where is the 9 of the 19 at? 
With, I saw the nine. Uh, Elliot's back here. He cannot pass anybody for position. He is not going to. Elliot's 27th. Truex is down to 30th, however. Oh, boy. So, so Truex is right the there. Truex now being out. Truex Elliot is definitely out. In. Kozlowski in, <laughs> I think. Blaney, question mark. Hamlin, question mark. I don't know. We're coming to one lap to go. Michael McDowell should easily win this race right here. The 34 started off strong, had issues, came back to the lead, has shown really good really good pace for the final bit of the race. And through the final quarter, Gary, he's going to win here in the most chaotic, confusing, interesting, wild race at the Charlotte Roval, possibly for the final time at the Charlotte Roval as well. Michael McDowell is a winner in our 2023 virtual season. They already confirmed the Charlotte Roval for next year. But anyways. That's right. Never mind. So Harvick gets third. So we got the live... Points update. Kyle was, uh, wasn't even close to advancing. Logano, Hamlin uh, as well out. And Martin Truex Jr. ends up eliminated by two points to Kevin Harvick right at the end of the race with his issues there. Harvick barely gets through after a troubled round of 12. Bellaney barely scrapes through by three points. Elliott makes it by five points. Jay, what an absolute mess of a race that turned into. Uh, the biggest points margin we've had from drivers on the out looking in, going into a round of 12 elimination race, and it ended up being an absolute mess and extremely close.